Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Revelations. This is episode 20. We'll have to speed things up. Damn it. It's all a setup. What do you mean? Ah, you pretty much got it. Glad I'm not paying you for nothing. I'll try to find a way to delay the seek. Roger that. We'll take care of the virus. Well done, PSAA. Your activities have been eye-opening. Morgan Lansdale. Hey, quick! You wanna die with your machines, idiot? Hold up! I'm on! Your destiny is in my hands. I wonder if we're gonna play as Parker and Jessica this episode. Since, of course, it never follows up a cliffhanger with the same characters. Yep. He never got the hint. What a drag. Maybe he's already taken, Jessica. Yeah, sure. Can we get started already? Sure. We've been through hell before. It's nothing new for us. Yeah, just like old times. The good old FBC. Though you should have wore a lot more pants back in the old days. Get to the bridge, activate the bulwarks, and pray the ship stops sinking. Now that the power's back, we should be able to access the maintenance system. Okay. We should split up then. There's something I need to check on first. Okay, fine. I'll see you on the bridge. Jessica, are you working for Director Morgan? Alright, how do we get to the bridge from here? Fastest way looks like to cut through the bottom here and then take the elevator up. Oh, I never did check what was on the top floor though. The solarium. You know what? Let's be silly. Let's take a little detour up there. Because last time up, we were up here, there was like hundreds of giant barnacles in the pool, and we turned on the pumping system. And it said it would take a little while, so uh, I'm curious to see if it's drained out by now. Certainly has been a little while. Alright, there's monsters here. These things aren't very tough. Barnacles are still here, though. Well, it looks like we made a dent in them. The only reason I wanted to check out here is because I know there's an achievement for swimming in the solarium, so obviously there must be something in there. That's where we got our sniper rifle. Sure, let's try going for a swim, I guess. There's our achievement. I wonder if there's something at the end of this maze. Oh. Never mind, it's not a maze at all. I mean, I guess it's not that big of a pool, so... Couldn't really go anywhere too, uh, crazy. But we've arrived here on the other side. Custom parts. Custom parts. Whole lot of grenades. Ammo. Some more ammo. I wonder how early we could have come here.
Oh, that's too bad. I was hoping for a new gun. But, uh, I guess that's better than nothing. Now let's make our way back to the hall. So this brings us back to the promenade area. And we just have to cut across here yet again to get to the elevator. Every time we pass through here, it's full of enemies. Did Raymond tell you everything? Yeah, he told me, boss. And you know what you have to do. O'Brien out. Hunters aren't too bad, still. Even with Parker's unupgradable weapons. And we can't even access the box. Damn! It's a new type! Always showing up the worst times. Parker doesn't really have a good way to deal with these big night guys. You don't have a magnum or a sniper rifle. How do I switch to regular grenades? I'm not sure this guy can fit through this door. Seems a bit too large. Nope, he can fit. Shit. Good thing there's no friendly fire on these grenades. Well, that wasn't too bad. Not nearly as many enemies as we fought here before. But maybe they realize it's not a good idea to make you fight through the same area over and over again. We are out of healing items. That's bad. Another one of you. That doesn't even stun them. at the bridge. I'm already here. I'm going to start lowering the bulwarks. That was fast. You're just slow. And you owe me another dinner. That reminds me. I never got you that drink. That was a year ago. That's fine. You can make it all up to me in one big spending spree. <laughs> okay, fine. Just sit tight and I'll be there soon. As soon as this really slow elevator gets up there.
hold it right there. Harker? The spy has infiltrated the BSAA. Morgan's more. And it may be you. And that's what Raymond told me. What are you talking about? We don't have time to... Parker, subdue that woman. Raymond. Raymond, didn't you get oh. shot in the back of the head? But you... You were... <laughs> She's trying to activate the ship's self-destruct mechanism to destroy the evidence. What? <laughs> Guys, this is getting out of hand. Not funny. Come on. Say something. Parker, it's me. I can't trust you completely. Not yet. Put your gun down, Raymond. Yeah. You're too soft. Don't be fooled, Parker. <laughs> Parker! Stupid men. Stupid men, always wearing two-legged pants. I knew O'Brien had a lap dog. I'll tell Morton it was you. <laughs> Jessica! Don't worry about dinner. Now we're even. I'm sorry, Parker. Go out there. But you... Raymond, go! Such a twist that I totally didn't see coming because it wasn't totally obvious or anything. Not a very effective self destruct if only one tiny section blows up at first. Oh, we're just getting warmed up. That was a fairly short one. We must be getting pretty close to the end here. I don't think there's anything after the Zenobia. Unless we attack FBC headquarters or something silly like that. But until next time, I've been Shadefire. This is episode 20 of Let's Play Resident Evil Revelations. And I'll see you all next time.